A nationwide shortage of monoclonal antibodies will limit how many patients battling COVID will get the treatment. Dr. Mark Burns of UAL Health says the interruption could lead to more people in our area dying from COVID-19. The impact, unfortunately, may, may be in, in the short term until we, until we get it back going, uh, you will most likely see more severe cases of COVID-19. Uh, COVID and uh, remember, these are indicated to help keep people out of the hospital. Unfortunately, I think it may, it may cause more admissions and unfortunately, uh, more bad outcomes. Dr. Burns says monoclonal antibodies are manufactured antibodies similar to what our bodies would make on their own to fight infections. It's often given to patients who face greater risk from the virus. Governor Bashir announced Tuesday the government is capping the supply for states. But what this ought to tell you is if you're unvaccinated and you get really sick, not only might there not be a bed in the hospital because they are so full, not only could you take up a bed and prevent someone who's in a car accident from being able to get in the ER, but that monoclonal antibody treatment might not be there for you. That thing you're counting on might not be available. What is available, and there are no supply issues at all, are these vaccines. Dr. Burns says the bluegrass state could be hit particularly hard. And unfortunately, because we have such a high unvaccinated population and this pandemic is, is continuing, um, then, you know, this is what's going to happen. And Dr. Burns says the news comes at the worst possible time as cases and hospitalizations have surged among the unvaccinated. He says many of his patients who are now fighting the disease wish they had gotten the shot. There are people who actually had to have double lung transplants as a result of getting COVID-19. So uh, they wish they had gotten vaccinated when they had the chance. Dr. Burns hopes production of the drug will be ramped up so there'll be more monoclonal antibodies on the market once again. At University Hospital, Natasha Williams, WLKY News.